and now run the manager two. What manager two is doing? One time he is printing the B one. So if you print B one here, it will just print the integer value. A string value you are not passing, so it will take a default value, and default value is the null of a string. So let's run this. Yeah. So first time B class constructor is printing param one as a null, which is your string. Why it is printing param one as a null? Because you are only passing the integer value. That is the reason it is printing integer value. Second bean which you have defined, it is passing the param one value but not the param two value. So that's the reason param two is default value that is null. Understood or not? Yeah. So pretty simple, guys. Nothing much. And I I very rarely seen the constructor injection in any of the project but since it is a concept and you guys have to prepare for interview also if you claim that in your resume you are having the spring knowledge these are the very hot questions in the world of spring ioc and most of the questions again coming in spring from ioc itself so i will highly recommend you go and work on this practice more bring the questions we will be able to solve it in this class Okay. In fact, while preparing for interview, if you got some questions and you are not able to answer, uh, understand that answer, please let me know. We can work together. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. One more interesting things I want to tell you here. In this B class, this is a string which is one of the Java class. Integer is also one of the wrapper class. If you know wrapper class in Code Java. Then you will be knowing that for each data types we have one class also. For integer, for int data types we have integer. For long data types we have a uh, long class. Similarly, for each data type you have one class also, and those class are known as wrapper class. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. So I think you guys need to go for core Java one crash course, guys, because that is important. Uh, in core Java, if you're not strong, many places you will struggle. And of course, interviewer will mainly target in this area. Anyway, now I will tell you one interesting thing here. Let's say this B class is one of the product class. Okay. And under that, let me define a product class itself. So you will be having the better understanding what I'm trying to tell you. This product is having some ID. <clears throat> so I give an int ID, a string name, <clears throat> and double price. Okay. And you also have setters injection. So let's select setters and getters. Come to the main method. Override the two string method. So we have a twisting method here. Now create a product class object equal to new product. What you did, product dot set ID something you set the product ID. Product dot set name. book and product dot set price something like this and finally your product is ready you are going to display over the e-commerce website how you can display you just print the product object let's run this pretty simple you are getting the all details of your product whoever is the customer over the amazon flipkart or whoever website is they will be able to see, okay, this is the book, price is 89.9, and this is the ID. Probably ID, you cannot show that. But yes, product name and product price, you are able to 
display over the website clear now imagine by mistake somebody has forgot to set the price while creating a product object he forgot to set the price do you know what will be now let's run this product is still displaying over the e-commerce website or whatever website you have referred but what is the price here zero zero point zero as a customer if a customer is like me without any delay going to purchase this product buy the product <laughs> and i will suddenly take a screenshot also yeah and later what i can do i can blame okay. on the e-commerce companies say hey i need this book on free basis it will why look at this this price is zero it means you have to give me the free cost and you will be surprised to know that this incident has happened also with the iphone oh oh <laughs> <laughs> and company has provided the iphone that the customer in free free <laughs> so as a developer see minor things is going to make a big blunder right. yeah. while designing your class you have to be very careful how to define a class now one way is that put a constructor so constructor will not allow you to skip any property just now we have noticed right it will force you hey you have to give the price otherwise you will not able to create a product option this is the one way but what is the other way other way is instead of primitive data types just put a class what i did i just put a wrapper type not the double as a primitive type so here if i run this program now even though it is a setter one but i just change the primitive data types to wrapper type and let's run this now what you are getting price now null 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 doesn't mean that it is free Null indicates it. The price has not been set. The mm -hmm. price can be anything. Yeah. The blind price. Are you getting my point? Yes. Yeah. So your customer cannot blame that I want this product in free. Price has right. not set. It means doesn't mean that it is free. But in the previous case, the price was there and it was coming a default value. and default value of double is 0.0, .0. and because of that it was just a displaying over there okay so you yeah. need to remember when you are designing a class when you are defining a particular model class or entity class or bean class or pojo class think about 100 times whether this class is having any impact there is no harm to put a wrapper type instead of just primitive type So that's yeah. all I want to show mm -hmm. you guys. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. Okay. So I can't see I have anything in the IOC much. So you guys need to practice on this. If you have any doubt or question, let me know. Whatever okay. project you can see, most of them are just hello world. Whenever I start any new batch, I used to create one more project and okay discuss on that but still some of the projects are there you can open it if you found something is interesting you can work on that you can understand it and let's discuss on that so with that we are done with the spring ioc next concept is going for the spring dao that is spring jdbc no. concept okay. Okay. now we will see how we can interact with the database from the spring dao anyway in spring dao is also not used much because of we have a hibernate people are talking about now this day hibernate that is the orm you know right. so 
ऑब्जेक्ट रिलेशन ऑब्जेक्ट यू नो दैट राइट या दैट्स कूल आई मीन आई जस्ट नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सो हाइबरनेट यू नो निखिल राइट बिकॉज um watched we It's has used to disturb. yeah there's lots more to learn in hibernate also like orm mapping these okay. are important yes okay so let me open this so to work in this project you must have to install one database it could be any data database whatever you have it could be a sql server mysql oracle there is no problem okay. at all but for mm -hmm. sake of simplicity and just for training purpose i am using a h2 database you guys know what is h2 database h2 no there is one database called h2 database this database is a rdbms relational database the okay. beauty of this database is it is very simple to use if you go for mm -hmm. mysql installation you need to spend lots of time if you go to installing the oracle don't ask sometimes they can ask you money also <laughs> it's very complex <laughs> so this is just a in memory database and that is the reason it is popular i will tell you later in the spring boot what is the meaning of uh, in memory database but right now if you don't have any database install in your system you just go in google okay. and just okay. type h2 database download here is a windows okay. installer similarly okay. for mac i don't know you have to look into that where is the mac installer okay platform independent jeep something like that it is talking about so for windows you just click on windows installer there will be okay. a exe file double mm -hmm. click installation mm -hmm. will be done and then okay. after you just press windows button and type okay. h2 the moment mm -hmm. you type h2 it will be appear for you like this click on h2 okay. console and okay. in browser it is open click on connect you will okay. be having the h2 database with you you can type here create table insert data select table all this information you can type here okay. so this is the place by which you can so for example i want to select some data so i'm saying select a star from person and here is the run look at this i am getting the data from person table similarly okay. i am expecting you guys have a basic understanding of sql query how to create a table yeah. how to alter a table how to insert the data how to update the data how to delete the okay. data and at least yeah. how to select the data if you have this basic knowledge then we are good to move in the spring dao if you don't okay. have then i will highly recommend you just prefer the any tutorial the blue three is cool sequel just go there and learn this sequel tutorial what is sql what is the meaning of insert update all these things you can learn there but for my yes. training just install h2 and we are good okay now let's come to the that's a spring dao dao stands for data access object it is basically simplifying the concept of jdbc if you are coming from core java side and if you know jdbc then jdbc is basically a java database connectivity from java program whenever you want to interact with the database you have to connect with the jdbc api have you guys ever work on jdbc no well uh, yeah <laughs> okay so again this I mean, jdbc uh, the, usually usually they configure the jdbc in the application dot properties on uh, while well, using the spring mvc 
Ah, uh, yes, in MVC you are right, but usually JDBC is a pure core Java project. Okay. So in okay. core Java, we are having a simple program which can easily can be learned. Oh, okay. So you, if you guys don't know that, then as a bonus, I might be having the JDBC tutorial also in my get. Go to Nikit 024 all the repository yep here we have a jdvc okay so in jdvc if you want to quickly see one example i can show you what is the jdvc okay let me create one class for jdvc here so under spring jdvc we have lots of things to learn but if you don't know JDBC itself, this is a problem. I need to teach you. So under the com, I'm creating one class called manager. And I'm copying the whole code from here. Something like this. And java.sql.statement we have this simple jdbc example this example is oracle example but we are using h2 so we have to change the properties according to h2 database and for h2 database we need a driver class so basically for jdbc you only need four information what is the first one driver class Whichever <laughs> database you are using, you have to put the driver class for that. So initial one, whatever you have seen, that was for Oracle database. And by changing this four property, you will be able to switch from one database to other database. So okay. come to manager class and just change the get connection, something like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Comma username is SA and H2 database is a very simple database. It will not force you to give the password. So while installation, I have not selected the password. So if you don't have password for your database, then you can skip this last section just by empty quotes. Now, okay. I want to create some table in the database so you can put any table name. Let's create the table with name of Nikhil, where I have a two column, ID in and name. That's all guys, you are done. JDBC program ho gaya aapka. There's nothing complexity okay. here. Registering the driver class, getting the connection, creating the statement object, writing your query, and finally executing the query. The moment okay. I will execute yeah. this query automatically in the mm -hmm. database, it will be creating a Nikhil table. But again, okay. you remember like a spring framework, I told you spring is an external framework. Java is not having the all libraries for that. Similarly, whatever driver class we have used here, that is not actually a part of core Java library. So you need one jar. That jar is from H2. So if you install the H2, then you just go to your C drive program files 86 you will see a h2 folder here is the bean and here is the jar also this is the jar we need so what i'm going to do now copying this jar and setting into the build path so i told you uh, the example study we have seen where people are not using maven adding the jars downloading the jars for the spring how they are adding just right click on this mm -hmm. there is a properties option go to java build path there is one option called add external jars if you click on that it will ask you where is the jars my jars is in program files h2 bean just select this jar that's all 
now your program mm -hmm. is having fully qualified for H2 database. Let's run okay. this and try seeing that whether table is going to create or not. Java application. It's saying done. It means what? The table is created. Yes, Copy this table, come to your H2 here and just type like select a star from Nikhil. Okay. Yay, table is created. Look at this. Yes, yeah. Yes or no? So yeah. like this way by which from a simple and a small Java program, you can interact with the database. database. And this is the example of JDBC. Now, not only that, if you want to insert some data, you can do that. So how yeah. we can do that? Type oh. another query. Ring oh. SQL equal to insert into Nikhil table and whatever values you have, you can pass like this one, two, three, comma, ABC, because a string value can go under double single quote. So remember, this is the okay. syntax of okay. database. And instead right. of execute method, you can call execute update method. That's all. Let's run this. It's done. It means one record has been inserted. Run the same query. Look at the data here now. We okay. have an ID. ABC. Okay. So very simple. Now I want to change the query for selecting. So how we can do that? Again, a string SQL equal to select a star from Nikhil. So this is the query for selecting. And here, little bit extra code you have to write. And that code is That code is because this time you are getting the data from table. Whatever previous two query I have run, I'm doing something in the database. But this time I'm taking data from table. So I have to store this data. For a storing purpose, there is something called result set, which again Java is providing to you. Something like this. Whatever data came, I put into the result set and with the <laughs> while loop, With the while loop, I gonna say result set dot has next, or I think next. Next, if data is there, then I'm going to print ID equal to plus result set dot get int. And what is the column number one? Similarly, name and get a string, column number two. So this is the, for select, if you have a select query, then you have to write this piece of code. Because whatever the moment this query will execute, all the table data will be coming to result set. And in your table, you might be having lots of row. And each row I'm printing via loop. So if I run it now, you can see I have a ID one, two, three, name ABC, which is coming from the table. Understood or not? Yes, good. So this is a pretty simple JDBC example, guys. You can practice on this. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the problems with this JDBC? If you look at this JDBC, you have to register the driver class. Then you have to do the connection. If you open the connection, you have to maintain the closing of this connection. This is very, very important. Then you have to create a statement. Mm -hmm. Then you have to write a different, different method for uh, first execute, then for second execute update, okay. for third there's execute query. There are different, different okay. methods. These are all things you have to maintain, especially the connection lifecycle. Connection is a very costly operation in Java. Whenever you are taking a database connection, 
you remember i was talking in the beginning of class input output operation input yeah. output operation is a very costly operation similarly more than input output operation this line connection is very very much costly operation why it is costly operation because from java program you are going to the other system other mm -hmm. program and then you are taking a connection so database connection is very costly when i say costly it is a time consuming and also a performance problem think about okay. many people are trying to use your database from your application in one time you have a single connection there will be a problem that's the reason people used to maintain a connection pool connection pool is the concept by which you can have many connections stored ready made so like thread pool if you know thread pool then we also have connection pool so this all problem was there and spring people thought let's simplify the jdbc concept i will not ask my users to write a connection load the driver class fetch the result set all these things i will not ask my user to do rather than they will be mainly focusing on the business logic they will only focusing on writing a query and executing that query so that is the reason okay. spring jdbc came which is also known as a spring dao any question guys understood yeah, yeah. yeah. getting so in node.txt i have clearly explained problem with jdbc writing unnecessarily code to handle exceptions opening and closing database connection etc these all are the problem with jdbc why spring jdbc framework because a spring jdbc framework takes care for all low level details starting from opening the connection prepare execute and sql statement process exception it's also handle the transaction transaction is one of the okay. very very important things in the database if you not maintain the transaction properly then there is a problem right it is also okay. providing one concept called row mapper i will talk about it later but here you simply understand in spring jdbc we have one library called jdbc template and this library is a master library everything you can do with this jdbc template the only thing you have to do is defining the jdbc template bean once you have a jdbc template bean we are okay to go with any interaction with database so whatever nikhil i was talking about the note whatever important notes are there i have already kept in every example but okay. the rest all a story of spring jdbc you can read it out from the documentation and any videos spring jdbc doc so if you click on okay. this the spring people will bring you the big ramayana of this <laughs> and you start <laughs> start reading it out what is jdbc blah 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 but okay. after referring all these things whatever i thought it's good i kept over there okay okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's come to our example now how we can interact with those so first and most important thing if you are using a spring jdbc then inside your pom.xml file you need to add a additional dependency so on the top of a spring core a spring context you also have to include one more library called a spring JDBC. JDBC. In a Spring IOC, you have noticed we were. So, guys, timer has been started. So, after ten minutes, it will be disconnected. So, we can continue okay. it tomorrow. A Spring Core, a Spring Context is the mandatory. I told you in the first example itself. If you are dealing with the any module of a Spring, IOC yeah. is the mandatory one. You must have to work on IOC first. So, IOC is required. on the top of that you can here add a spring jdbc going forward i can add a spring mbc yeah. like this way now if you don't want to add the jar of h2 database how i did you can define the dependency of that jar that is also possible 
Okay. Now, look at this student dot Java. It is having the name, ID, and age. Only three property. But before going to this bean, let's talk about the configuration. Configuration is major important things. You remember just now in JDBC, I told you only four option is required. So each okay. database is having the four properties. Right now we are in H2. So while there is some class called data source, driver, manager, data source. If you are working in the Spring DDBC, then first and most important thing, you have to define the bean of this driver manager data source. This driver manager data source is coming from the dependency which you have added here in line number 37 to 39, in fact, 40. So in configuration.xml, first and important things you have to create the bean for data source. Mm -hmm. While defining a bean of data source, it will ask you the four information. What is the driver class? Currently, I'm using the H2, so I have given the H2 driver class. And if you have noticed, in my manager class also, I have given the same thing. Then after, it will ask you... Then after it will ask you, what is the URL? Similar URL, whatever I have given here, I have given here as well. It is asking username and password. Whatever username is there for my H2 database I given. And I told you there is no password. So I have kept the password section empty. Once you are done with that, then lastly, you have to create a JDBC template object and this JDBC template object required the reference of data source. So if you look at the student JDBC template, I have, I have one data source here and I can do auto wiring also. But in this case, I have created a wiring concept. So while defining the bean of this student JDBC template, you have to pass the reference of your data source. And the moment you pass this reference, now your student JDBC template can use the all the things what you want. So look at this, what we have under this. Okay. We have create, we have get a student, we have list of a student, we have delete a student, we have update a student. So all CRUD, what we used to say, CRUD, C-R-U-D. You know what is the meaning of CRUD? C for create, R for read, U for update, for delete. So in 90% of your any application is having this CRUD operation. Right. Yes or no? If you talk about yes. e-commerce, you have to add the product. If it is required, mm -hmm. you have to update the product. If you want to change the price of product or you want to change the name of the product, you can delete the product also. If you don't have that mm -hmm. product, you need to delete that. And of course, reading the product. Yeah. So whenever you want to display your product over the website, you have to read the product from the read product table. So CRUD operation okay. is important in every application. Right. If you think any yeah. banking system also, bank people when you are withdrawing the amount it is a update operation it is going in the database and it is saying for this account update the balance if you are in depositing something again an update if somebody is closing okay. the account it's a delete operation somebody is opening the account it is a create operation yes or no so every place mm -hmm. there is a crud operation and in this example we are targeting this crud operation how to perform create, update, delete, and read operation. Now, okay. if you look at my Spring DAO, okay. Spring DAO is basically one of the interface. If you go to the real-time project, it will always use to follow the factory design pattern. What is the, what is the meaning of factory design pattern? Try understanding. Right now, okay. I have to create Get a student, list a student, 
delete a student update a student going forward somebody is asking me delete all you need to add one method called delete all so i can easily go here and i can add the method delete all so something like this so i have something called delete all let's not pass any parameter this okay. is one of the methods and implementation of this interface is nothing but my jdbc template automatically i started getting error because okay. now this class is telling me your interface is having one more method called delete all you have to override this something like this so in real time people used to follow like this define one interface put the all necessary okay. functionality here and the logic of how, how you can achieve that functionality should go under the implementation class and here you can see i am implementing the student dao interface this design pattern is known as factory design pattern you can directly write all these things here you can directly remove this implement there will be no problem at all it's completely fine but this will be considered as a okay. poor coding you can directly skip this student dao dot java there is no need for that but for better understanding for better maintenance purpose for better okay. readability purpose define an <laughs> interface <laughs> first write the all impl unimplemented method what you want to achieve and then find the class and do the fancy steps make okay. sense guys okay. yeah yeah okay so this guy is asking me to create one table called a student table so here one sec so what i will do i will quickly go and create the table in my database mm -hmm. run it it is saying a student table already exists so what we can do now okay. drop table drop student the there is a command for dropping the table now table is dropped mm -hmm. now i can easily run this mm -hmm. a student table is created how can we verify okay. select a star from a student Yes. Select typo. <laughs> Select. Okay, so I have ID, name, and age. Now, under the manager class, here is the main work. I loaded the config dot XML. It is pure IOC. We have learned just now. Yes yeah. or no? Yeah. What yeah. bean? What bean we are expecting? A student JDBC template bean because I have already defined okay. here a student JDBC template. So again, IOC concept calling this container and asking the bean. Now I got the bean. What I'm doing okay. first? First of all, I'm entering the three records. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Yes or no? Then after yeah. I'm listing the all student, it is going to call the list student method, and after that I'm printing okay. the all details. Then I'm updating that student, whoever mm -hmm. having the yeah. ID as a two. Okay. Oh, my bad. So this is having integer ID. Yeah. So this will fail because there is no ID with the name.